Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an Hashing system series. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a template creating function which will basically just create a template for any pet name you give it. Also we're going to be making it so that whenever you hash an egg the uh, other UI elements will disappear which will make everything look way cleaner. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. Okay, so to start, what I'm going to do is head over to Star GY, X System, Client Scripts, Hatch Client. And what I'm going to do is just create a function for hiding all of the screen GYs when we are hatching an egg. So to do that, it's very simple. We just have to create a function and we're going to call it maybe toggle, uh, toggle, uh, screen GUIs, screen GUIs. And we're going to give it an argument, which will be a bool. So I'm just going to name this argument bool. And what I'm going to do is loop through all of our screen GUIs. So script.parent.parent, uh, .parent, script.parent parents yes call and get children do and we're going to check if the dot name is not equal to and uh, egg system and if it's not equal to egg system then what we're going to be doing is just setting v dot enabled dot enabled is equal to false to uh bool and we're going to do we're going to call that function when we hatch an egg so right here uh, toggle, toggle, GYs, and we're going to set this to false. And when this function is over, toggle GYs, and we're going to set this to true. Do the same thing here, toggle GYs false, and at the end of the triple hatch function, toggle GYs and true. Now if you play the game, that should work, hopefully. So if you go near an egg, press R, as you can see, the GYs will hide and only our egg system GY will be visible. Now what I'm going to do is just create a script for, for uh, it's just starting to code the inventory system, which should be pretty simple. So what I'm going to start with is just making some templates whenever we hatch an egg. And to do that, it's very simple. Go to your main script, enter your pets frame, and create a local script. And name that local script um, uh, inventory, pet inventory, pet inventory, inventory. Enter the script, and we're going to create some variables. So local um, frame is equal to script.parent, and local. Uh, Info is equal to script.parent uh, is equal to frame.info, frame.info, and that's pretty much it. All we're going to have to do is just get the a variable for the display pet. So local display pet is equal to and info dot display pet, and then local container. And what I just realized is that we do not we do not have a con container, and it's I think it's this. Okay, so drag this container outside of the uh, info frame. So make sure it's a child of the pets frame. And now I'm just going to resize this and put it wherever I want. So somewhere around this should be good. And I'm going to rename this to container. And I'm going to enter the pet inventory and set the container container reference to uh, frame.container. And now what I'm going to do is just create a template. So to do that, add a UI grid layout to a container, which is the scrolling frame. And rename the UI grid layout. Actually, no need to rename it just change some properties in here. So just add a text button. And I'm going to make sure that the background color is different from the uh, background color of the container. And I'm going to add a UI corner 
and I'm going to set the corner radius to 1, 0, or maybe point, point 2, 0. Okay, that looks good. What I'm going to do next is set the text to nothing. And I'm going to add a uh, frame, which will be the display. So I'm going to call it display. And I'm going to change its size to 1, 0, 1, 0. After that, I'm just going to rename this to template. And I'm going to make sure that the background transparency of my display is set to 1. And then I'm going to just mess around with the Y grid layout settings. But before I do that, I'm going to duplicate this frame a couple of times. And I'm going to select my Y grid layout and set the cell size to scale instead of offset so that it doesn't look weird on mobile. So just set the, the offset to zero and the offset on the Y to zero and change the scale on the X to maybe something like 0.2 or maybe 0.3 and I'm going to change the scale on the Y to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.13 or 0 0.15 or 0.16 okay but as you can see we have a bit of a problem here so if i just keep on duplicating this template eventually we run out of space on the scrolling frame so to fix that you just have to select your container and set the uh, canvas size to uh, change the scale to something like 30. And as you can see, this will mess up your UI grid layout scale, but you just have to mess around with the cell size again. So I'm just going to change the cell size here to maybe something like 0 0.01. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to just get rid of all of the templates and just keep one. And then I will make sure that this template is not visible. And after that, what I'm going to do is just enter the pet inventory script and uh, create some variables. So I'm going to enter my hatch client script and copy some stuff we have here. So just copy these services and the player and we don't really need the camera so i'll just put these here on top and then i will copy the variable for uh, the module 3d and i'll put it here and after that i'm going to create a function in here called new template so local function new template and i'm just going to call it to uh, give it an argument which will be the pet name and what i'm going to do here is just create a variable for our template so local template is equal to container dot template and then i'm going to do a local cloned local new template and I'm going to set that to the template con clone and new template new template dot name is equal to pet name and new template dot parent is equal to container and new template dot visible is equal to true. Actually, let's do this before we even parent it to the container, and then I'm going to copy this code on the hatch client script so here where we here i think so just copy this part here from line 102 to line 109 copy that and paste it here and what i'm going to do is change this to new template i'll display and instead of this i'm going to do game dot replicated storage or just replicated storage dot pets 
comma find first child and i'm going to do a pet name comma true comma clone and that should work and that's pretty much it what i'm going to do now is just see if this works so i'm just going to wait five seconds and i'll just call the function so new template and i'll get a random pet name so i think cat would, cat would be good if we even have one so let's check yeah that should work so if we just wait around Okay, as you can see, just created our template. And I think that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.